Bill John Baker is wrapping up his first term as principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. He will run for re-election this year. Filing date is in March. He joins us now, and I'm pleased to have him at this desk. Thank you so much for being here, Chief Baker. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely my honor. Now, let's talk about the big announcement you had a few weeks back with the, with the Hastings Hospital, because that in, in that community, that's a big announcement. Uh, an extremely big announcement. The, uh, we, uh, we were able to get a joint venture with the federal government uh, where we build the buildings and they give us operating dollars that last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, and uh, not only did, uh, did we work extremely hard with our lobbyists in Washington, D.C. to open up the joint ventures, but then we were in the top three, which the top three are funded immediately uh, to, uh, to, to start their construction. So uh, we're, we're front and center, on the front burner, uh, and, and by comparison, you know, the tribe spent 40 years uh, settling uh, with the federal government on a, a riverbed claim that was less total than we're going to get to what, what we hope to get each year in this funding agreement uh, for better health care for the Cherokee people. And that's about 30 million. About 30 million a year. So how did you pull that off? Uh, God was good to us. Uh, we have uh, some of the finest uh, employees, uh, uh, lobbyists that, that uh, went to work mm -hmm. uh, to explore to see if a joint venture was even possible, if we could get them to open it up. Uh, and then once they did open it up, uh, they put in the application uh, and, and we were successful. So what does that mean for the community? Uh, down to the, to the guy who lives down the street who needs medical help. They, well, it, it, what, what it really means is we've, we've read about the VA and their problems. Mm, right. We've read about uh, health care crisis across America. And what it really means is that the Cherokee health care system is getting better when the others are starting to struggle. And, uh, you know, $30 million a year uh, will mean more doctors, more nurse uh, providers. It'll mean more uh, physician's assistant. It'll be more direct services uh, uh, available, not just in Tahlequah, but all over the 14 counties. I mean, we've made a $100 million investment in health care from a new clinic in uh, Oceanlata to a brand new clinic in Jay to doubling the size of the man killer clinic in Stillwell and doubling, over doubling the size of the clinic in, uh, in Salisaw, the Redbird Smith. Uh, so we're not only you know, building out more space so that the doctors that we have can be more efficient, have more exam rooms, uh, more equipment, more up-to-date uh, uh, processes, but, but it, it's also going to, with this joint venture, bring in more dollars every year for operations of our health system. So you don't have to take it out of the gaming for operations. That, that's true, yes. Now, um, is it only limited to Cherokee members or is it across the board? Because not the, everybody li who lives in the 14 counties, counties are right. Cherokee. The, the, our health care system is uh, all based on IHS. So it's Cherokees and other Native Americans that live within our jurisdiction. Now, this was part of your platform when you first ran for chief health care. Health care has always been the number one issue with our people. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. Uh, and so we pledged to make health care better, but nobody could have dreamed uh, that we would find $100 million to put into infrastructure. <laughs> uh, we knew that we could take 5% of casino dollars and put it into contract health to immediately make the lives of our people better. Uh, we knew that we could uh, make our clinics more efficient, uh, that we could have better policies, uh, but, but in nobody's wildest dreams did we really believe, and you know, all these clinics are gonna be paid for, so that you know, any third party collections, private insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, all those dollars that come back to the clinic in, in the form of uh, uh, fee for service, will go right back into the clinics for more and better service for our people. Uh, so it's just, you know, it's a win-win-win in health care for the Cherokee people. And truly, you know, if, if our people aren't plugging up 
uh, city hospitals and uh, community hospitals and regional hospitals, uh, and, and they're coming to us for their primary, primary, primary care, then it takes a burden off the state as well that uh, if they show up and, and they don't have insurance, then uh, by law they've got to treat them, and uh, we would prefer to, to, to treat them right there close to home. Well, let's talk about some other things that, that's going on. Obviously, you're enjoying being chief. I, w I wouldn't see why you wouldn't be enjoying it. No, the, uh, it has truly been a blessing, uh, something that uh, uh, I don't know where I could help more people in a shorter period of time uh, with as many resources that the Cherokees have. And, and that's truly the only purpose of being chief or the Cherokee uh, government is to make the lives of Cherokees better. Now, part of that making the lives better is jobs. Now, Absolutely. I grew up in South Delaware County. We know, we know that Delaware, Sequoia, yeah. Adair, poverty is huge in Absolutely. these counties. So as chief, mm -hmm. in your four year, how have you been able to help get more jobs to the people? Well, the, it, it, it was really pretty basic. The, uh, we, we've added jobs within the Cherokee Nation and their Cherokee mm -hmm. Nation businesses. But more importantly, we took the percentage of Cherokees working for the Cherokee Nation from just over 50% to over 75%. So we've got more Cherokees working for the tribe itself than ever before in the history of the Cherokee Nation. Uh, and then we partnered uh, with uh, uh, independent businesses around the 14 mm -hmm. counties. Uh, one in, in particular is the Macy's Project. The, we came to the table with the, the Tulsa Regional Chamber, with the state of Oklahoma, with the county commissioners, and we brought our resources to the table, and we won a Macy's Fulfillment Center right here in, right, in Owasa right. that uh, they're immediately hiring uh, 1,000 people. They're gonna go to 2,500 people, and they're projecting that they'll even grow beyond that. And these are $17.50 an hour jobs mm -hmm. so that if people want to work, you can afford to drive from Claremore to Owasa to get a $17.50 an hour job. Do you think those jobs or that project would have been landed had the tribe not stepped up? That people that know in the chamber, in, in, the, in the government, uh, Macy's by their own admission, that uh, what we brought to the table uh, ended up putting us over the top to get the Macy's project. And I'm extremely proud of that. And, you know, and, and, and we, we hope that they hire many, many Cherokees and the tax credits that they get by hiring Cherokees uh, is, is very attractive uh, to Macy's. And we're gonna do the recruiting for them and uh, we, you know, we help well, them with some win -win infrastructure. It, the it, it's a win for, for the region, all of Northeastern Oklahoma because even if a non-Cherokee non goes to work, it opens up a job in Delaware County for them. So, <laughs> it, for, for, a non, or for a Cherokee. And so that's big in Delaware County. It, it's, a, it's a big deal right. uh, that uh, uh, every, you know, every job that, uh, that, we, cre that we create uh, changes a life because all of a sudden if you've got a, uh, if you work for the tribe, you've got a 401k, you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield, right. you've got maternity leave that we just instituted. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got sick leave, you've got uh, vacation pay, you've, you know, we've got as, as good or better benefit package working for the Cherokee Nation. And I, by executive order, raised the minimum wage at the Cherokee Nation to nine fifty an hour. Which is a controversial issue inside the state for other... Uh, across America. Across, that's right. Well, we're out of time. Chief, thanks so much. You bet. I appreciate it. We'll be right back. Sam's back up next with another segment. Uh, join us here in a few minutes.